Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to some of our Pokemon Emerald Extreme Randomized Nuzlocke. Hopefully you guys are having yourselves a great day today. And if you do want to go and support the episode, make sure you drop a like down below. Of course, the support is greatly appreciated. But before we get into anything in this episode, I want to say something very quickly. I want to say thank you guys for the congratulations tweets comments all the positivity if you guys did not know this last Sunday I actually graduated high school uh, so it's been a very big time for me that's why there hasn't been any episodes of Emerald the past couple days but uh thank you guys for being patient with me and thank you guys for all the supportive messages I do greatly appreciate it uh, but with that being said it is officially summer vacation for me so I'm ready to start grinding out on YouTube. We took a little bit of like a three day break, but nah, we're back full force right now. And I don't want to get you guys too excited, but the next series for After Emerald is already planned and you guys should be getting a new versus project, new versus co-op project in the near future. Hmm. Hmm. But with all that out of the way, here we are for some Emerald. So the team, the team, let's talk about the first uh, new team member real quick. Let's talk about Checkmate the Sceptile. So I asked you guys uh, to vote for what Pokemon we should uh, add to the team and Sceptile won by a landslide. I'm gonna be completely honest. Everyone wanted Checkmate on the team, not everyone, but a decent amount of people. And the reason why, or a good reason that uh, a lot of people pointed out is I was kind of knocking the type on Checkmate at first, the ground and rock type, but then color changed. Like if we get hit by something, we're just gonna change to that typing and then hopefully be resistant to whatever comes next so maybe we can uh, work around with that but either way of course checkmate has dizzy punch mock punch belly drum and recover you guys all wanted this thing to be on the team simply because of belly drum recover that was the biggest reason people were voting for septile and honestly i'm down with it i am definitely down to mess around with it hopefully we don't die from like the belly drum and stuff because look at our attack Woo! All right, but then we have Slim Thick, of course, Cloud Nine Ability, Ground Type, and Soft Sand, uh, Will O' Wisp, Mud Shot, Clamp, and Recycle. Then we have Neptune in the Celebi, Dark and Poison Type, and Limber Ability, Cycle Boost, Thief, Wing Attack, and Rock Smash. We definitely need to get a Rock Smash. That should not be there. We have Hat, the Cactor, Normally Ghost Typing, Natural Cure Ability, Double Edge Strength, Sludge, and Ice Punch, and something I just realized, I don't think we've ever taken advantage of Natural Cure yet. That's the new goal for the end of the playthrough. Before we finish this playthrough, I want to take advantage of Natural Cure just once. I don't know. Then we got Arms, the Suicune, Electric, and Rock type. We've got a lot of Rock types and Ground types. Clear Body, Ability, of course. Skyper Cut, Cross Chop, Fly, and Shock Wave. Then we got Big Head with Ice and Poison type and Rough Skin Ability. Ice Punch, Surf, Ancient Power, and Calm Mind. And that is what the squadron is looking like as of now. Uh, so last time we left off right before we we're supposed to walk into the cave of origin So let's just skirt all the way back over there because Steven wants us to go and find this man with a hat and a cape I think his name is Wallace something like that So we got to find him see what's going on and then we got to make our way to the sky pillar. I believe So um, yeah, I don't think this episode we're gonna be doing the hard sky pillar puzzle Like the one where the floor is broken because that's always annoying. I I'm probably gonna use safe states. I'm not gonna. Oh wait. This is an encounter Paris. Perfect. I don't think we got anything here last episode, so I'm just gonna go ahead and catch this. And if, <laughs> let's say I did catch something, you know what? I wouldn't really cry if I had to give up this Paris. I'm not gonna lie at all. All right, there we go. It's the mushroom Pokemon. Let's name it one up then. Why not? And then hopefully this nickname fits to whatever it evolves into. All right, we're probably filling up that box pretty soon. We should go over to box two. All right, Cave of Origin. I'm pretty sure it gets darker. <gasps> Oh my gosh, if we got this like, oh my god, that'd have been amazing. Cause its ability is not gonna be truant. So we can attack every single turn with them. Hopefully it just has good stats. That's like the only thing I would want. Cause if we get, you know, a Slaking, we could have pure power, but if it has like 22 attack, nah, it's not gonna work. All right, where are these super appels? There they're at. All right, and I don't think there's a TM in this one. Oh wait, it's just right here. <laughs> I forget, I think the Ruby and Sapphire Cave of Origin, is that one longer? I don't know. Ah, so you're a Supra. I've heard tales of your exploits. My name is Wallace. I was once the gym leader of Zootopolis, but something came up. So now I've entrusted my mentor Juan with the gym's operation. Groudon and Kyogre, the two Pokemon wrecking havoc here, are considered to be super ancient Pokemon. But there aren't just two super ancient Pokemon, oh yeah? There's one somewhere. Uh, there's one more somewhere. Somewhere there is a super ancient Pokemon named Requ- I have him, bro! His name is Slim Thick! He's a purple dragon, he's in my party. Do you want to meet him? It said that it was Rayquaza that be claimed the two combatants in the distant past. Uh, but even I have no clue as to where Rayquaza- Oh, I got you, bro. Don't worry. 
Super, do you perhaps know where Rayquaza is now? If you do, please tell me. All right, well, we've already been to Mount Pyre, uh, so it's probably not there. It's probably not the Cave of Origin, because we're there, so, you know, logically, seems like the Sky Pillar is the best option. The Sky Pillar, that's it. It must be the Sky Pillar. Super, there's not a moment to lose. We'll head to the Sky Pillar right away. All right, I really wish they fast traveled us there, but you know what? It's fine, boss. It's fine, bro. It's all right. All right, I don't even need to escape rope because it's literally right there. All right. Should we talk to you? The Sky Pillar. I've never been there. I wonder where it could be. Well, lucky for you, I know exactly where it is. And it is right over... Well, it's like right over here. All right, so we need to go ahead and get on our horse or... I guess it would really be the opposite because we need to surf so it would not be get on the horse. It's probably the one time where that figure of speech just doesn't work out at all. Here we are. Oh, I don't have dive. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> Let's teach someone dive. I hate that we have to teach so many HMs. It wouldn't be a problem if we didn't keep losing the Pokemon on our team that had the HM moves. Like, then it wouldn't be an issue in the first place. Neptune, maybe. Hat. Oh my god. Do I need strength and double edge? I don't need sludge. I can get rid of sludge. I don't think we've used it and it's actually like been effective. I think I've just spammed it. Uh, like when it, I knew it was gonna kill or something like that. I don't know. It's not the end of the world. We can always buy TMs and stuff. Um, <laughs> I don't wanna talk about it. All right, let's get out of here. Let's use that super repel and we are on word. See the annoying part about this part of the game in Nuzlocke format is I can't remember all of the water routes where we got encounters. So I don't want to miss encounters, but at the same time, I don't want to repeat encounters. So let's say theoretically I get an encounter and it is illegal. Just be nice to me. Don't yell at me. Just let me know. Be like, yo, just release it. And I'll be like, oh, I got you. And then I'll release it. And that's exactly how that interaction is going to go. Exactly. And I think I actually came down here and battled like all of these trainers. Let's see. I did battle here, see? I don't know, I just thought that'd be a good spot to like grind up for level C. In this game, I have been actually grinding up my Pokemon. I don't know why, I've just had like the time to do it and it's not really that hard. I've been getting lucky with the Pokemon that we find in the routes. Like, it's usually Pokemon that give a decent amount of experience. So you can get like 600 uh, experience per Pokemon. And you'll be surprised, like with the speed up one, you can get grinding done pretty fast. Uh, but see, this is so hard to navigate. There's like so many rocks. Where is Pacifolog City or whatever it's called? How do you even pronounce it? Do I go around this way? I don't know, man. Like, I don't know where it cuts off and you can't continue on anymore because of the rocks. I'm just trying to make it to the Sky Pillar. It would make a lot more sense if you could fly to locations that, like, you haven't been to. Like, you should just be able to fly. I mean, in Auras, you can go on Latios and Latios, right? But it's not exactly the same thing. All right, do I have to take on these trainers? I didn't take on them, that's interesting. I thought I would've. Oh, got an Ivysaur. This blue Ivysaur, get this thing away from me. Um, should I belly drum? Probably no. We probably don't even need to. And a Dude, we're just getting trolled. It seems like every freaking trainer in this game has a Manectric. They just wanna bring it up that we had one and then it died. I don't know where this saltiness came from game. Like, I'm sorry that I lost the Manectric like more than once, but come on, man, chill on me. Let me do my thing. All right, get out of here. Maybe I should, oh, I belly drummed on accident. Well, I mean, <laughs> it'll die now because Rayquaza cannot kill anything. Like, I don't know why Wallace was hyping up Rayquaza. Like if Wallace saw Rayquaza's attack stat in this game, he'd be like, oh, I don't really need Rayquaza anymore. Like, it's fine. We can just let that thing chill out. It wouldn't even be able to help break up Kyogre and Groudon because it would just be like, hey, eh, y'all can do whatever. I'll just Will-O-Wisp. Oh my god, how do we navigate through this game? It should not be this difficult. Do I dive? Probably, honestly. I'm actually usually not too bad at navigating through the waters. I don't know what's getting into me today, but... I guess we're getting lost at sea, which is fine. I mean, I don't mind running around and uh, battling train. Oh, I missed that. It wasn't effective. Nice. Nice job, Supra. And we keep missing Clamp, too. It just doesn't help. We got, like, everything working against us right now. The entire universe. All right, maybe we'll put up a different Pokemon. Let's put up, uh... Let's use our homie arms for a little bit. Oh, I guess not. There we go. All right, and I'm gonna fly. I'm gonna relocate myself. Let's start from Moss Deep, because I know how to get there from Moss Deep. And, oh my god, we need to get rid of this draw. This is kind of awful. This is kind of awful. I feel like... Yeah, see? 
See, it's already right here. Oh, I guess it wasn't the draw. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. It was the thunder. Let's just pretend like I never said anything at all, and let's just go south. I'm just gonna hold down, and we're going straight south. It's actually kind of peaceful. I love the music, uh, like, when it's raining. Like, I might honestly just not stop this downfall and, like, this awful tragedy that's going on right now, simply because I like the music. Like, listen to it. Like, I'm sorry, people of the free and Owen region, but this music slaps. All right, we're getting there. I think it's a little more south, and then, oh, maybe I actually didn't get an encounter over here. That could be the case. Wait, I think we already were here. No, we weren't. All the rocks look the same. I don't know. You get confused. Yeah, but if I can avoid a majority of these trainers, I would be happy. I don't mind taking on a few of them. All right, I'm assuming this route we have not gotten an encounter on. So maybe after the Sky Pillar, we'll come and uh, get these encounters. Because I want to get the Sky Pillar done. I'm excited to do that. I don't know when we can get up there. I know it's like the top here and you have to go through the rocks. That's why I'm going like north of every like opening. All right, catch that Sky Uppercut. Why are these Pokemon so under leveled? Because it doesn't seem likely that you would come to this part of the game. Well, I can't really say that because it's Pokemon logic, but I was going to say uh, it doesn't really seem likely that you would come to this part of the game like early on where you wouldn't want, well, you wouldn't want the uh, opposing Pokemon to be a higher level. So like, I don't know, let's say before you take on Tay and Liza, because you can access this early, uh, this area earlier, but I don't know. Maybe they added like a roadblock so you couldn't get past here until you beat like Wallace or something. That way you could get more experience from facing these Pokemon. They're just so low, uh, low level that you don't get that much. But here is the Sky Pillar, and I want to make sure I stop at Pacifolog or however you pronounce it. I don't know. I usually never go to that town, so I can never remember how to say it. Pacifidlog. Okay, I was close. But we can get an encounter for the Sky Pillar. I'm going to wait until we get to the actual part, because I think the Pokemon are going to be higher leveled. I hope the Pokemon are going to be higher level. Oh my, I'm terribly sorry. In my haste, I didn't even notice that I left you behind. I've opened the locked door of the Sky Pillar. Super, let's be on our way. It's an earthquake. There's not a moment to waste. We've got to hurry. All right, dude. I don't know. Like, there's an earthquake, and then your reaction is to go inside of the building in which we have to go to the top. I don't know who taught this dude, like, earthquake tech and stuff, but that is not, that is not on the list of things to do. But let's go right in here. Hey, let me get that super repel off real quick. There we go. Because you can get a lot of really, really cool Pokemon in the Sky Pillar uh, in non-randomized games. I know you can get like Claydol, you can get Altaria, you can get, um... Oh my god, Golbat, I know that for sure. Maybe Binette, I can't really remember. But let's see what we can get here now. That's actually Dupe's Claws, we have a Murkrow already, so... Nice, I was gonna be, that was gonna be such a buzzkill. If I'm played up, how many cool Pokemon are you getting here? And we just get the same Murkrow. That's also Dupe's Claws. Because we also have a Growlithe. Or we evolved it. I can't remember what it evolved into, but whatever. Oh my god, last time I couldn't remember what something evolved into. People got mad at me. I'm sorry, I can't remember what every single Pokemon evolves into. Especially when you have Pokemon that evolve like eight times because of the chain evolutions. Can I just encounter something? Maybe it's only on this floor. That seems really unlikely, but... Oh! You know what? I'll take that. So Viper's a Pokemon that I always love to use just because I never really get to use it. So whenever I get the opportunity, hopefully it's... Oh, no. Oh, no. I have to chuck Ultra Balls now. Oh, no. I get two shots at this thing. Come on. Nice. I was going to be very, very upset if we lost that Viper there. But yeah, whenever I get this Pokemon and it's good, I love to use it just because, I don't know. It never really gets you that much. So if it has good stats, hell yeah, I want to throw Tigers on the team. And I've seen a lot of people, uh, you know, alluding to the fact that maybe Big Head isn't the best team member. Yeah, honestly, you know, you probably don't even have to give any more evidence. I understand why that might be your argument. Uh, so if that Viper is good, um, y'all are down to clown, we would maybe put it on the team and see where we go from there. But as for now, I believe this is the, uh, uh, this is the summit, not there. There's like 18 floors to this place, I forgot. But here is the main man himself. I already have one, so this ain't really that cool, Chief. I don't know what you're trying to do. But we don't even get to battle it. I think it just dips, right? The Awakened Rayquaza flew off. Okay. <laughs> See you, dude. And uh, I believe we go back to Sutopolis. All right. So before we go back to Sutopolis, I'm gonna... 
We could have had a Metagross, man. Are you serious? That would have been such a good encounter. Oh, well. Wait. Oh. I was like, are we trapped forever? That would be bad. That would definitely be bad. There. Definitely don't need to go around the entire thing, but... Let's ring around the rosy, I guess. All right, so it's still raining, so we, st <laughs> we still haven't helped at all, unfortunately. Uh, but even though we can't help, I can still get some encounters. So there's Pacific Log, there's Route 131, there is 130. And I don't, I think I'm gonna stop at 130 for now. <gasps> it's level 13, but I don't care. Let's go, baby. Oh, I don't even care about that Metagross anymore. All right, so we have like, how many Ultra Balls to catch this? Seven Ultra Balls. Can we do it? I don't know. We definitely can't attack it. I know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn it though. Are you kidding me? It has Arena Trap. So I can't swap out. That's ridiculous. So I can't even go, oh my God. I guess all we have to do is just chuck Ultra Balls. That's all we can do to this thing. Wow. I mean, I don't mind having a Pokemon with Arena Trap. I mean, I guess that's cool. It's not too often where NPCs will switch their Pokemon out, but let's go, dude. Let's freaking go. I mean, it was level 13. So <laughs> the Dragon Pokemon. What do I even name this thing? Oh my goodness. Uh, Let's name it. Uh, Hmm. I'm trying to think of a funny name. Let's name it Gertrude. We got Gertrude the Salamence. The Sassy Salamence. Uh, you, D, I think that's how you spell Gertrude. I don't know too many people named Gertrude, but now we know a Salamence named Gertrude. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the name it was. All right, uh, so it's East. Oh my God. Whatever, watch me lose a Pokemon in this battle. Last time we battled an Iglybuff, I lost a Pokemon, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna double team it. Just make sure it gets out of there ASAP. Did I lose? Unfortunately, yes. I'm sorry, dude. All right, I know I battled y'all. So here's Route 130. I don't believe like I missed an encounter here or anything like that. Come on, just get the encounter. An Illibuise. Favorite Pokemon to get. All right, I'm just Ultra Balling you. There we go. It's the Firefly Pokemon. I'm naming it. I want to name it like Owl City or something. Because <laughs> that Firefly. I like to ma I'm gonna say I mean Owl City. I can't sing the rest of that song. I don't want to get copyrighted, you feel? I'll name it Owl. Hey, some people say you sound like an owl. Who? Haha. <laughs> Best joke ever. That's like the ultimate dad joke. The ultimate dad joke. Because it's just not satisfying even when the joke works. It's like the updog thing too. Like, hey, you know, uh, what's up, dog, bro? What's up, dog? Nothing much, you. Like, it's just not satisfactory even when the joke works. Like, it's funny. Because it's because it shouldn't be. It's that kind of humor. It's like, why is this funny? I've seen so many of those, like, I mean, I think the posts themselves are memes, but they're talking about how like modern day memes and modern day humor just like doesn't make any sense. And it really doesn't at all. It, like, it's so funny though. I, I can't even explain why. It just triggers this thing in your brain that's like, why am why is this funny? I have no idea. But I'm trying to get this encounter for Pacific Log Town. So come on. I don't know what it is with the water in this game, but you just cannot find any Pokemon. There's also the area east of Firo. I don't want to be that guy, but I'm not sure if these encounters are really worth it. <laughs> what do I name this thing? Um, Let's name it, uh, let's name it Pirate. I don't know. I'm thinking Spiro, Sparrow, Jack Sparrow. I don't know. Arg, it's Patchy the Pirate. I should name it Patchy. That's what I should do. We got Patchy now. I can imagine a fear with like an eye patch. Yo, if someone wants to draw that, that'd be dope. I'm gonna get this encounter to the left now too. Yeah, it does change, perfect. All right, 132. So we have a Relicant. If we ever get a Whale Lord, I am more than down to like do the Reg uh, Regice, Regirock, Registeel stuff and like check them out. Cause that's like a blessing from the game if they give us both those Pokemon. Are you kidding me? We just got a Fero and now we get a Pidgeotto. It's just these, the Route 1 bird Pokemon, right? I guess is Spiro Route 1? It's more like Route 2 Route. We actually can't catch it. I don't know how valuable you think you are, but you're wrong. 
There we go. All right, let's name this one Burb. We're catching all the bird Pokemon today. But the good news is that uh, we get to check out all these mons. That's what I'm kind of ex Why won't my... Oh, can you not run here? I was like, why won't my character run? <laughs> I guess you can't run on... I mean, that makes sense. I probably wouldn't want to run on whatever kind of, like, steps these are, but... All right, let's... Yes, yeah, so you can run inside because I have that enabled. All right. Let's check out some of these mons. We got one up holding a TM. I'll definitely look at that in a second. All right, flying in grass. Interesting, I guess. I mean, airlock. It's a Rayquaza, I guess. Okay. Thunder Punch, Mega K. Okay. Interesting. Not a bad special attack stat. I mean, it's going to evolve anyway, so the Pokemon that can evolve don't really matter too much. Uh, Moo Moo Milk. Not awful stats. Not the best, though. Grass with Water Veil. Eh. A lot of grass types. Awful moveset. Oh, my goodness. Gertrude. At level 13. Special defense, attack, and defense are pretty decent. Speed is pretty good, too. We might have to level this thing up, and I want to see what its stats are, because it could be a potential team member. Psychic with Arena Trap. The Psychic is interesting. Wait, I don't think we've had a... No, wait, that's wrong. <laughs> Mobby. I think we've had a Psychic type. I don't know, but... Moveset, honestly, awful. Not gonna lie at all. Owl. Decent defense. Speed is cool. Psychic and ground. Okay. Luster Purge is not bad. This is the best moveset out of all of them, and it's on an Illumise. Thank God. Maybe these dudes are good. Rain Dish with ground type. Okay. Eh, <laughs> nothing special. Ice Beam, Dragon Claw, and Cross Chop. Holy crap. Good attack stat. Sucks because Ice Beam and Dragon Claw go to waste, but... Oh, well. Uh, own Tempo with Ghost. All right, I want to check out what this TM is, though, real quick. On Paris. Hopefully, it's good. Actually, I'm gonna feel really stupid. Can you get items in this game? No, you can't. I think after... Maybe this generation, they updated it so you could pull the items off there. Like, in the PC, but... Definitely not in this game. So what, uh, which one was it? I don't know, but definitely wasn't anything good. Probably, like, uh, much shot. Was that it? I don't know. I forgot what number it was, because I just didn't even pay attention. Because I knew if it was good, it was going to stand out in the TM's bag. Like, it doesn't even matter. But you know what? The team right now is actually pretty solid. Uh, if you guys do want me to go ahead and replace Big Head... Uh, I'm more than down to level up Gertrude, and if Gertrude is good enough, uh, we can chuck Gertrude on the team because it adds type diversity, and uh, it just seems like it's going to be a decent Pokemon, so you know what? I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to go call the episode right there. Thank you guys for watching. Next time when we pick up, I think we're going back to Sutopolis. Then we're doing some crazy stuff with Rayquaza, Groudon, Kyogre. I don't know. It should be cool. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like down below. Of course, the support is greatly appreciated. And I'll catch you guys next time when we do all that mumbo jumbo. Uh, but yeah, summer's going to be great for the channel. And I can't wait. And uh, peace out. <laughs>